Hey everyone. So welcome to Game Dev XR. I'm Jonathan. In this video, I want to do something different to what the channel's been doing so far. I was looking around this morning at YouTube videos and I stumbled across Ian Herbert's YouTube playlist on how to create quick environments in Blender. And this got me thinking whether we could do something similar using Blender for the Oculus Quest. So it's a bit different and it's a bit of a challenge, but we basically take some textures from cgtextures.com. We take them through Photoshop, put them into Blender, build a terrible environment in around an hour. I think it was just over and sort of go from there to try and see if we can build something using anything online, really. And the idea was to, by the end of it, that we could actually put it onto an Oculus Quest. So slightly different to rendering in Blender, but it was a good challenge and I enjoyed it. So we'll head over to Unreal Premiere and I'll show you how I did it. So a lot of this is sped up pretty quick, but um, the first thing that I actually started to do was jump into textures.com. The idea was that we could take the textures from here and then bring them into Photoshop, which we can turn into texture sheets. Uh, while I was in here, I basically just downloaded a load of industrial stuff. So like brick walls and roads and that kind of thing. And then I actually found an industrial, uh, like a power plant type of stuff. So I thought they could be really good for objects in the distance and downloaded them as well. The idea is that we could take these, so you can see here I'm looking for a road as well because it's what we need. With that done, sort of like double check what it is I've got and then I head over into Photoshop. The idea with this was the Oculus Quest has a very good, um, it works very well for using 512 by 512 textures. So all I did was I made a blank photo doc Photoshop document, which was 512 by 512 and a 300 DPI, I think it was, a 300 resolution. And then I simply split it up into, uh, I used the grid to split it up. With the, using the grid, the idea was that we could actually snap these textures in place, even though it wasn't, 512 for each one it was then good enough that I could bring them into blender and know whereabouts I'm using it ideally at this point I wish I made the building slightly bigger so taking up more space just to get some more resolution out of it but we'll learn from this one and implement that next one the next thing I did was jump over into blender and the first thing I started to do was block out the building as well as create a little human reference to go from. So the little block that you can see in the scene, he's 0.4 by 0.4 by 180. That's about six feet tall in, in Unreal. So from this, I can get an idea of how tall he's gonna be or the surrounding environment. And then all I did was create a plane and attached our newly created texture sheet to it and just started to extrude some of the mesh just had to extrude some of the mesh and bring in the textures using the texture sheet. You can see I'm just repositioning the UVs just in Blender now. So at this point, this is kind of where I originally messed up because I was going off the spot and I wasn't really thinking too much of it. I thought I could maybe clip these together and then tile them around to make a building. It's what I did, but I realize now it'd probably be best to make some more uh, modular stuff, so break it up. And then from here, snap them together and then just export one of these buildings out on its own. However, instead of that, I just stayed in Blender and started repositioning them around. This isn't too bad, but it did cause quite a few issues later on, which we'll see when we actually get to the engine part. It causes some black textures and flipped faces. The next step now was to build the roads, so I wanted to try and scale this correctly to the player. 
or at least have something that didn't look too too bad and I realized that after doing this I didn't have anything for the pavements so I jumped back into textures.com but realized that I ran out of credits so I couldn't get any more free textures so I kind of just left it on the idea that we could then later on maybe add some in but as you can see here I'm just trying to break up the scene and stop it from looking so repetitive and to do that I sort of just clipped some of the buildings into each other and I also inverted them on the y-axis so even though they're repeating quite a lot for what it is they still had some variation to them as much as I could get out of the scene at this point I wanted to bring the eye level up so you couldn't just see into infinite otherwise it would just go forever and it would look kind of crap seeing the skybox so what I did was I used this concrete area to make it look as though the scene was raised up and the idea was the, the idea with this was to make it look leveled and do it so it's not so organic and flat here I started to I tried to go a bit creative and cut out the sky which it did work and it works quite well in the end result although very janky and not amazing but it, it did work until I messed up cutting it along here so you can see that I, I wasted a lot of time just by messing up that cut so here to be safe I just started doing it in sections cut bit by bit and then I realized that we were around 45 minutes in I think it was and I still hadn't saved but half an hour 35 minutes in so looking at the scene from above I realized that we needed some kind of texture on the pavement or at least something to break it up so it wasn't so blurry and I tried to get away with using some of the concrete stuff in the texture sheet but it didn't really work so well but I left it there anyway here what I'm trying to do is actually use the glass to sort of build like an online uh, to build like an on top balcony type of thing or like a, what you would see in a greenhouse or a warehouse where it's like glass ceilings but it didn't really work too well so, so I just took them out and then I did what I what I'd done previously and I, I brought these buildings behind I realize now they could be higher up to give the illusion that they were the taller but it, di it didn't really work too well so what I'm doing now is I'm just jumping into Unreal I've already got all these programs loaded up and I just export from Blender and import them straight to the project I also delete everything in the template just so we've got a place to work from and you can see there it, it came in pretty well but it was quite small compared to the character so what I did was I scaled everything up by two and then now I'm just adding a roughness channel to the textures this was just to make it not so shiny and try and add as much detail as possible here I jumped back into Photoshop and I tried to make some normal maps the The idea behind this was that we could get some more detail out of the textures without having to model as much but it didn't work at all so I kind of scrapped that take them out which I'll do in a second and then I, I kind of just leave it there because it just seems a bit easier than playing around so at this point I'm just checking the collision on the, the mesh to make sure it's there and then adding a nav mesh component so we can actually teleport once we build it to the headset so at this point if you watch the full version you'll realize that I actually build it to the headset and there's a load of issues some of the buildings are black and what I realize is that or what I think is the problem is some of the normals for the, the geometry that I created is inverted which causes some black faces although looking back at it now I don't think that's the issue I think what I could do with doing better is just modular buildings and then not exporting all of them so you can see here I, I export each one individually when I could have just exported the one that would give me more time to make others as well and build the scene in Unreal which hopefully I'll do in the next one and that's the idea with this is to just learn as we go so I jump back into Unreal, I re-import all the meshes after I fix the normals and then do another build where you can see some of the buildings are still dark so I actually decide to add a cube 
after changing the light build resolution I go in and I create a cube which goes above each building because I'm thinking that maybe the light is coming from the top and bleeding through the walls this helps a little bit but it didn't help as much as I needed it to so now I'm just repeating the process across all the buildings once this is done I also just select them all and set them to hidden in game this way once you're down below you don't have to you won't be able to see them at the top and it shouldn't look too bad so we're slowly getting there there's still quite a bit wrong with it aside from all the textures and the blurriness <laughs> but that's not bad for being able to get a an environment built in in around an hour and then put onto a mobile device so you can see here this is actually how the scene looks in, within the headset so I'm using side quest to stream to the headset and then project in but you can see here we've still got some issues with the buildings <laughs> what I'm hoping for is to that we can if we keep building these so I'm hoping that if we keep building these environments maybe do one a day then over time it'll slowly get quicker and better and then we'll be able to go from there to make more this is more of a personal project like just get better at it you can also see we've got some pretty bad clipping where I clipped the meshes into each other so there was a lot learned a lot from this project which was one lighting is an issue that needs to be that's a that's a prime source of detail is lighting if we can get that better it's going to be easier also modularity rather than doing all the buildings in blender and then duplicating them around maybe do one in blender and then bring them into unreal test it and then iterate from there which is probably going to give us the best results so in the next one i'm going to try and do that uh, same as the roads if I can build a road which we can actually snap along surfaces or if we can snap together then it'll be shouldn't be too bad but for now it was basically build an environment as quick as possible as detailed as possible and just see what we can basically get done in an hour to show that nothing's impossible we, we can get this done so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of them just let me know down below in the comments if you liked it drop a like and if you've got any suggestions maybe if there's a theme or a, an environment style you want me to try and go with then I can do this again and we'll do some more and hopefully the more that I do of these the quicker it'll become and the better the results will be excellent excellent I'll see you in the next one Bye.